Hey fam, welcome, welcome once again. Welcome back if you are old and you are very much welcome if you are new. God bless you. And if this is your first time coming in, my name is Chantal Ikabe and I'm always here to pray with you and also to share the word of the Lord with you. I woke up with this word this morning. It will happen. And I kept hearing it over and over and over again. And immediately I knew and I felt in my heart that God was speaking to someone who is waiting on him who is waiting right now waiting for the promise waiting for the prophecy to come to pass to be fulfilled waiting for your moment to give birth waiting to see god move in your life he wants you to know that it will happen i don't know what he has shown you i don't know what you have seen but it will happen says the lord it will come to pass do not be afraid don't worry about it and some of us it might have taken long but it will happen happen remember what the bible says it says the vision is yet for an appointed time the reason why god will have you write it down and also the reason why he will tell you before you see it come to pass is because he knows that he is going to bring it to pass he's a god that is faithful if god has spoken that is something to hold on to the only person you can trust when he speaks is god if he has spoken be rest assured that it will happen that it will come to pass it doesn't matter how long it takes it will happen you know prophecies come in different ways and they are fulfilled in different ways when we have an understanding of this it's going to help us in our waiting season and also in our work with the lord there are moments when god will release a word and those word or that word will be fulfilled instantly you will see the fulfillment of that prophecy instantly that is an instant fulfillment of God's word. Hallelujah. But there are times that God will speak a word and you will not see it come to pass instantly, but you will need to wait a little more before you can see it come to pass. And also there are times God will speak a word, but because of certain things and certain, you know, circumstances, you may not see the fulfillment of that word, but someone coming from you, your seed, or your descendants will see that word come to pass. Whatever the case may be, whatever the situation may be, hold on to God. Continue to trust in him, have faith in him, walk with him, for he will surely do what he has spoken. I remember when he spoke to Abraham and he promised Abraham a child. Abraham was waiting for a child. He promised Abraham a child and he thought it was just going to happen instantly or maybe it would take a while. But it actually lasted longer than he thought. But God actually brought Isaac Isaac came in. There are things that only God can explain and there are things that only him can decide on. Why? Because he is sovereign. But the Bible says all things work together for good to them that love God and to them that are called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. And so what God has spoken to you, what he has said, doesn't matter how it has started, it will come to pass. Now he's watching at you. He's Seeing your behavior, watching your attitude concerning what he has said. How are you receiving it? And why waiting on him? What are you doing? How are you acting? How are you reacting as well? This is very important even to God. Heaven is watching. Heaven is watching. You know, things are not always going to be beautiful and smooth, but God expects us to trust him at all times. And he expects us to have faith. Remember, without faith, it's impossible to please God. He he expects us to have faith and to know that what he has said he's able to do and he will do it hallelujah have faith in god and have faith in his word the favor of the lord is upon you even this week god has brought you into the delay might have been there but god will multiply you and he will restore you his grace is upon you and you will see what he has spoken come to pass in your life in jesus mighty name remain strong remain courageous and be blessed
place hallelujah love you so much and the lord bless you now if this video was a blessing please don't forget to like it and also share with someone this is very important god bless you as you do that in jesus mighty name amen please also subscribe join the family become a part of us i do believe so strong in my heart that this family is going to be a blessing to you love you stay blessed and i hope to see you shortly by his special grace